Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll learn about division, quotient, and remainder. Okay, now the question here is, Falak and Zara had six roses. Okay, so here are our six roses. They divided the roses equally between them. How many roses did each girl receive? And how many roses were left? All right, so the question is, there are six roses and there are two girls. How many roses will each girl get if they divide those roses? Okay, so we have to do six divided by two. Six for the roses, two for the two girls. All right, so let's do that. On the right side of the screen, we'll do a working for division of six by two. Now, when we do division, this is uh, how we do it. To the left of the sign, we put two, which is the number we're going to divide it by. And on the right side of the sign, this sign over here, we will put the number six, which is the number that has to be divided. All right, now, when you want to divide any number by 2, what you actually do is you start by thinking of the multiplication table or the times table of 2. Okay, so when the number over here is 2, you think of the multiplication table of 2. Now, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. When we get to 6, we stop because this number 6 matches our number 6 over here. Now, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. This also tells us that 2 goes into 6 3 times, which is what division means. 6 divided by 2 means to find out how many times will 2 go into 6. Well, so 2 will go into 6 3 times. So when you do 6 divided by 2, what you get is 3. 2 times 3 gives you 6. And 2 times 3 gives you exactly 6, which means there is no remainder at all. So as simple as that, when you want to divide a number by 2, you think of the multiplication table of 2 and that will lead you to the answer. Alright, now we have two numbers that we got here. We got the number 3 and we got the number 0. This number 3, which tells you how many times 2 can go into 6, is called the quotient. Okay, And this number 0 over here tells us that 6 when divided by 2 leaves a remainder of 0. So this number 0 is called the remainder. So as simple as that, 6 ones divided by 2 gives us 3 ones with no remainder. Now we write that as 3R0. The R stands for remainder. And when there is no remainder, we don't write R0 at all. Actually, we only write 3. All right, so when 6 roses are divided into 2 groups, each group has three roses so each girl received three roses and there were no roses left all right that brings us to the end of this lesson for more such questions practice exercises and worksheets go to my.homecampus.com.sg this is m signing off for now bye